Hey everybody, welcome to the Jay Walker. Today, first installment of what I'm planning on being an ongoing series here on my channel. Uh, tentatively, I'm titling it Ghost Stories for Saturday. It might be Sundays, Mondays, Thursdays when I upload the stories, when I upload these, but that's what I'm titling it because it sounds good. Uh, today, my story is not really a ghost story experience that I that I had oh, 16 17 years ago maybe a little bit more and just an interesting interesting story um, something that I that having been said where it's not a ghost story it's still something that's a, a little more on the paranormal side and so that's kind of why I'm lumping it in with with the ghost stories so about 17 years ago, my great-grandmother passed away. She was 99 years old and, you know, just four months away from, from, turning, from turning 100 years old. And um, it was kind of an interesting time. I, you know, I was single, you know, living in a different town than my family. And I remember, you know, I got the call that she had passed, and I'm like, okay, you know, what's the funeral? And it was, it was strange that I, you know, just everything fell into place that I was able to go to the funeral. And just a couple of days before the funeral, which is on a Wednesday, and I remember that because I, it's the days that I had off at the time, and you know, even after this many years, I could remember that. But. Uh, uh, a day or two before the funeral, I had a dream, and in this dream, I remember being inside a church, and there was a man that seemed familiar, but you know I couldn't place him at the time, and he he stood up. And gave a speech and it was maybe about two minutes three minutes long this dream but I it was so vivid and so clear and I could remember I could remember it uh, so fast for, forward from from the dream episode um, just to the day of the funeral Great grandparents lived up in um, a little town north of north of Salt Lake City, just a few minutes south of where I was living um, at the time. And get to the funeral, and you know, go through the normal normal routine for for a funeral, and. As the funeral goes on, I realize, hey, this is this is where my dream was the other night. I didn't think too much about it until maybe halfway through the the service when my my great uncle stood up to talk, and like I said in the dream, I. I knew that he was familiar, knew that he looked familiar, but couldn't place him. The great, uncle, the great uncle stood up to talk, and it was the man from my dream. And, you know, I'd, I'd met him just a few times throughout my life, but it had been probably 10 years since I had seen him. And I remember when he stood up to talk, just having this moment of clarity of, oh, this, this is it, this is my dream. And I started running through my mind, this is what he's gonna say, he's gonna say this, he's gonna say this, he's gonna say this. I remember, and it was the first three minutes or however long the dream was of his, of his talk during this, during this funeral service for my great grandmother. 
the church in my dream was this church. It was, you know, lighting was perfect. It was my dream. All that having been said, um, I don't consider myself clairvoyant. I don't consider myself a seer. I don't consider myself anything of the sort or even a medium or anything like that. Um, I think that you know, most of us have at least some sort of connection with with the beyond or with a higher power or however you want to you want to look at things. And I I, I kind of thought of it more as, you know, almost a deja vu episode. A really long one for sure, but a deja vu episode nonetheless. And I've heard theories of deja vu. Um, and, you know, I don't know what's right, what's what it is, you know, maybe it is a little glimpse into, into the future for just, you know, a small instant. Um, and I don't know, I really can't say what this was other than it was strange. And I remember Not really even feeling freaked out or or scared of it, but I, I remember feeling maybe more peace with it, uh, with my grandma's passing. And, you know, I wasn't even really all that sad. I, I grew up in a, in a faith system that, you know, death is just a new beginning, a new part of the journey for us, necessary part of the journey for us. And, you know, one of my, one of my favorite theories about deja vu or something, you know, those types of, those types of situations is that it's a, a glimpse from, from God, from a higher power, or however you want to look at it, see it, that you're on the right track, that you you know, your, your life is moving at, at a good pace, at a, in a direction that's, that's acceptable, I guess. That, you know, you're going to be given a little touch, a little glimpse, and then realize it when you, when you reach that point. And I like that just because, you know, it happens, you know, it's happened so often to me. And it still continues to happen. And usually it's nothing like three minutes of, of a talk at a funeral in a church. It's usually just five seconds of, wow, this feels familiar. Whoa, where did this come from? I've seen this before. This has happened to me. But... It is what it is. Everybody, thanks for, for tagging along. If you like it, let me know. We'll, we'll keep them coming. Um, more stories, more stories from the cemetery. You know, more, more stories like this. Maybe even my theories about ghosts and you know the paranormal and those type of things. Please like, subscribe comment let me tell let me know what i can do better with this let me know what you like let me know if there's anything you want to see